Oh hey, just doing a little yard work before the video starts. I'm digging up square roots. Hello Wobblies! I'm Chris with Wobbly Otter Outdoors and this is a review of our Morris Mule trailer that we call George. When we purchased the Morris Mule trailer there were two grades available. There was the field grade and the trail grade. Today there's only the trail grade and that's what George is. The Morris Mule trailer comes with a Dexter Torflex Torsion 2,000 pound standard axle. The tires are Goodyear Wranglers 235, 75, 15s, and he weighs 685 pounds. The frame clearance is 20 and 1 half inches. The axle clearance is 16 and 3 8 inches. The trailer is 11 feet long. It is 64 and 3 quarter inches wide and its height is 42 and 3 quarter inches. We have the high rack in place all the time. That's what we have the rooftop tent on top of. And the overall height with the high rack is 74 and 3 quarter inches. There is also a low rack that comes with the trailer and it sits just above the doors and that height with the low rack in place is 53 and 1 quarter inches. The top doors of the cargo area open up like wings to the sides and have chains that you can use into the loops that are both in the high rack as well as on the door to hold them so they act as tables. Inside the cargo area the width is 38 and a half inches. The cargo area length front to back is 59 inches and the height when the doors and everything is closed is 18 inches. The table height is 40 and a half inches and the tailgate height when it's open is 23 and three quarter inches. The rack width is 50 inches. The crossbar height on the high rack is 70 inches. On previous videos we've done on a Morris Mule trailer, we mentioned that the weight capacity of the rack is 200 pounds. Since then, there are more specs on the Morris Mule trailer website, and we can tell you that it's 200 pounds capacity in the high rack and the low rack when it's rolling. And when the trailer is static, the capacity for the high rack and the low rack is 800 pounds. The coupler height is 22 and a quarter inches. On each side of the back of the trailer are stabilizer jacks. You pull the pins out and they drop down. These aren't the stabilizer jacks that came with the trailer. Um, these particular ones Morris Mill sent to us after we had purchased it because they have multiple holes and the previous ones that we received didn't have quite as many holes. So they're, they weren't as adjustable. <laughs> there are tie down loops all around the exterior of the trailer. All around the bottom. And then on the top, on either side of the bed, there are three on each side. George came with the full size spare and a spare tire rack. We added the Smitty Belt jerry can brackets as well as the Crown jerry cans, one on each side. They're five gallon capacity. We also added the tongue box, which we purchased from Tractor Supply. It's a nice big open box. Has a lip around the edge so rain won't get into it and it's lockable. The jerry can holders are also lockable. The trail grade trailer comes with a large 
front deck that has expanded metal on it. We have painted that with Herculiner. We painted the tongue box and the jerry can holders as well as the front tongue of the trailer with a Rust-Oleum bed liner. We'll put links to the videos where we did those things in the description of this video. We put chocks behind the storage box as well as blocks for the jack stand. Sometimes we even put firewood back here. On this side is the high lift jack. It is bolted down to the front deck. Bill made brackets to hold the jerry can holders. The fenders we painted with Herculiner. The brake boxes we painted with Herculiner on the outsides. And then on the inside we painted with our Stella and bed liner. Brackets that hold recovery boards are on each door and then on top of that is a bracket that holds an axe on one side and on the other side it holds a shovel. And then on the top is our Smitty Belt Overlander tent. It's the smaller of the Smitty Belt tents. As you can tell from all the videos that we've made about George, we really like him. We couldn't ask for anything more out of the little Morris Mule trailer. It's built like a tank, it carries a lot of gear, and it can go anywhere a truck can go. We've put lots of links in the description below. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you for watching and subscribing to Wobbly Otter Outdoors.